Archaeologists in China still can't believe it. The sands of Tarim hid mysterious mummies for 4,000 years. Mystical pyramids in Bosnia and the gates to hell in Turkey can completely change our history. Traces of a vanished civilization and a portal to the underworld. Watch this video to the end. You will definitely like it, high friend. You are on the Cure Top channel. Palm Scroll In 1938, an amazing discovery was made in India. Ancient palm scrolls containing extensive knowledge about medicine, astronomy, and other sciences. These scrolls are over 4,000 years old, making them one of the oldest libraries in the world. The contents of the scrolls are striking in their diversity. From medical treatises describing the treatment of various diseases to astronomical records detailing the movements of planets and stars. These scrolls represent an invaluable cultural heritage that provides a window into the world of ancient knowledge and practices. They confirm the high level of development of science and medicine in ancient India. Of particular interest is the technique of their creation and preservation. Palm leaves, carefully processed and recorded, could store information for thousands of years. Bosnian Pyramids Mysterious structures have been discovered in Bosnia that, according to some researchers, may be ancient structures dating back about 12,000 years. These massive formations first came to the attention of archaeologists and enthusiasts in the early 2000s when they were pointed out by Bosnian archaeologist and businessman Samir Osmanagic. He claims that the pyramids were created by an ancient civilization and are much older than the known pyramids in Egypt. The complex consists of several pyramidal structures, including the Pyramid of the Sun, Moon, and Dragon. The Pyramid of the Sun is the largest and reaches a height of about 220 meters, making it one of the tallest pyramids in the world. Osmanagic and his team conducted extensive research, including ground-penetrating radar scans and excavations, claiming to have discovered traces of ancient tunnels and stone blocks that indicate the pyramids were man-made. However, not all scientists agree with this point of view. Many geologists and archaeologists argue that these structures are natural formations formed as a result of geological processes. They indicate that the geological structure of the region and the shape of the pyramids can be explained by natural forces such as erosion and tectonic movements. They remain one of the most mysterious and debated finds in modern archaeology. Pluto Gate in 2013, an amazing discovery was made in Turkey, an ancient sanctuary also known as the Gateway to Hell. This mystical place has attracted the attention of archaeologists for its deadly fumes, killing all animals that approach them. The discovery was made in the ancient city of Hierapolis, located in the modern province of Denizli. Pluto's gate was dedicated to the ancient Roman god of the underworld, Pluto. They were a cave from which poisonous gases emanated. These fumes contain a high concentration of carbon dioxide, which makes the air lethal to any living beings. The priests of the ancient sanctuary demonstrated the power of the gods by leading the animals to the gate, where they instantly died from the poisonous gas. Archaeologists have determined that high concentrations of carbon dioxide came from deep fissures in the ground running underneath the sanctuary. The gas reaches the surface and accumulates in the cave, creating a deadly atmosphere. This natural phenomenon was known to the ancient Romans and was used for ritual purposes. The discovery of Pluto's gate not only revealed the secrets of the ancient sanctuary, but also demonstrated how natural phenomena could be used in the religious rituals of antiquity. Tomb with Unique Frescoes Amazing murals depicting daily life in the 8th century have been found in a small Tang-era tomb in northern China. Frescoes dating back to 736 cover all the walls of the tomb except the floor and depict scenes from life in the Tang Dynasty. The tomb belonged to a man who died at the age of 63. The paintings are done in the style of the Tang era using strong outlines and simple shading and appear mostly two-dimensional. This style, called Figures Under the Tree, was popular in Taiyuan, the capital of Shanxi province. The gate, corridor, and pedestal of the tomb are also decorated with frescoes. There are guards depicted on the outside of the gate. The frescoes do not depict famous historical periods or important people. In one scene, people perform everyday tasks, such as grinding grain or drawing water from a well. Another shows a woman with horses and a man with a whip, presumably from a non-Han ethnic group. The figures in the frescoes resemble the same man and woman, leading archaeologists to speculate that they were the owners of the tomb. 
Mysterious Accessory from the Future Archaeologists have discovered wall carvings depicting objects similar to modern handbags. Some of these images are about 12,000 years old. The earliest were found in Turkey in the ruins of the megalithic temple of Gobekli Tepe, where strange images are engraved on the columns of the ancient temple. Similar motifs have been discovered in Mexico, Iraq, and South America, raising many questions about the possible use of such objects by ancient civilizations. Although the images resemble handbags or clutches, experts believe the ancient ruins are more likely to depict baskets. Some believe that the concept of a handbag may have been invented by ancient civilizations. The first modern bag appeared in 1841 in England, created by Samuel Parkinson. The problem is that the Gobekli Tepe Temple was built in 9000 BC, and its builders could hardly have known about such an accessory. Another ancient example of a handbag was found in ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs written about 5,000 years ago, where the gods hold a small square object symbolizing prosperity. Archaeologists have indeed found remains of baskets and tool bags used by the ancient Egyptians, but they cannot yet say for sure what is depicted in the hieroglyphs. Similar discoveries were made in Iraq, among the ruins of an Assyrian palace built between 883 and 859 BC which depicts a genie with wings holding what appears to be a handbag. Historian David Miano believes that these figures, called Apkalu, were minor deities who carried water buckets made from sacred date palms rather than purses. Ancient buckets similar to the engravings were actually found in Iraq. Similar motifs have also been found in Mexico among Toltec ruins, where giant statues hold objects resembling handbags. These statues were created around 750 AD. Traces of a Disappeared Culture Venezuelan archaeologists have discovered 20 new sites with rock art dating back thousands of years. These drawings found in Canaima National Park belong to a previously unknown culture. The red pigment designs include geometric motifs such as dots, crosses, stars, and lines, as well as stylized images of leaves and human figures. Some images are carved into stone, making them petroglyphs. The purpose of these drawings remains a mystery. They could be associated with birth, illness, renewal of nature, or hunting. Rock art sites were probably important because of their location, just as the sites of churches and mosques are to us today. The exact age of the drawings is still unknown, but they are believed to be about 4,000 years old, similar to similar drawings in Brazil. However, scientists believe that the Venezuelan finds may be more ancient. Canaima National Park is a huge area of forests and parks the size of Belgium. One of its most famous attractions is Angel Falls, the tallest waterfall in the world. Researchers speculate that the park may have been the center of the emergence of this mysterious culture, which later spread throughout the Amazon, Guiana, and southern Colombia, where there are similar cave paintings. Portal to the Underworld Last year, a unique artifact, the Portal to the Underworld, which was stolen and taken to the United States in the 1960s, returned to Mexico. Scientists recently completed restoration and returned it to its original location in central Mexico. This monument, created by the Olmec civilization, has long been considered a gateway to the other world. In the 1960s, it was kidnapped from Chalcatzingo, a famous Olmec archaeological site where it was depicting a mythical cat with gaping jaws, a symbol of entry into the spiritual world. The monument dates from the pre-classic period created between 800 and 400 BC. The thieves smashed the artifact with hammers to make it easier to transport, but did not damage the main features. It was smuggled to the United States where it ended up on the illegal antiques market. In 1968, the artifact ended up in a New York museum under the name Monster of the Earth. Archaeologist David Grove recognized the Olmec origins of the monument and noted similarities with other sculptures at Chalcatzingo, especially the Olmec cross-shaped eyes and bromeliad flowers near the mouth. The mice ate an important message. Archaeologists sometimes make such amazing discoveries that they are hard to believe. One of the most unusual discoveries was an ancient Greek letter that was eaten by mice. It was written on a wooden tablet and contained an order to kill the messenger. The researchers were never able to prove whether this order was carried out. Letter written between 257 and 248 BC belonged to a man named Ephormostos. He sent it to his brother Zeno. The letter said, Greetings. The letter you wrote to Menon about Calicon's money was eaten by mice. 
You will do me a favor if you write quickly so that Calicon will not be delayed. Goodbye. The ancient Greeks often wrote letters on various topics. Family stories, news, love letters, political views. Letters were an important means of communication and literary expression. The first mention of writing in Greek literature appeared in Homer's Iliad, where Praetus gives a tablet to Bellerophon. In the 6th century BC, Herodotus describes the correspondence between King Amasis and the tyrant Polycrates. Letters were written with a reed pen and ink on papyrus, which was then rolled up and tied with thread. Official documents were sealed so that only the addressee could open them. In addition to papyrus, metal, wood, beeswax, clay tablets, limestone, or animal skin were used. The earliest Greek writing was written on lead tablets around 500 BC, God Statue in the Sewer During excavations on the southeastern border of Bulgaria with Greece, scientists discovered a two-meter sculpture of Hermes. The marble statue was hidden underground about 2,000 years ago. The work of art was located in an ancient Roman sewer in the abandoned city of Heraclea Sintica, founded by King Philip II of Macedon between 356 and 339 BC. In 388 AD, the city was destroyed by an earthquake. The head of the statue has been preserved and is in very good condition. The statue was probably hidden after the adoption of Christianity as the official religion of the Roman Empire and the banning of pagan symbols. The find is a Roman copy of an ancient Greek original. At that time, everything pagan was prohibited, but people still cared about their former deities. Tarim Mummies in the Tarim Desert, located in western China, perfectly preserved mummies have been discovered that are over 4,000 years old. These mummies are striking in their condition, preserved due to the dry climate of the region. Chinese archaeologists cannot believe this because they have Caucasian features, which raises many questions about the migrations and cultural exchanges of ancient peoples. Research has shown that the mummies have high cheekbones, deep eye sockets, and blonde hair, which is not typical for the population of this region. These findings cast doubt on previous theories that the Tarim Basin was inhabited exclusively by Asian peoples. DNA tests have confirmed the mixed origins of these people, pointing to complex migration routes connecting east and west already in ancient times. The mummies were found in a variety of burials, many of which contained rich funerary gifts including textiles, weapons, and household items. The Tarim Desert mummies continue to be studied by scientists from all over the world, revealing more and more new aspects of ancient history. They are an archaeological phenomenon. Second Tibetan Denisovan a team of scientists examined materials found in the Tibetan Baishaya cave and discovered an ancient rib. Paleoproteomic analysis showed that it belonged to a Denisovan who lived about 48, 32,000 years ago. Basic information about Denisovans is known from a few finds. Most of the fossils were found in Denisova Cave, after which this species of ancient people was named. Outside this cave, Denisovans were first identified in Tibet when protein fragments from a fragment of a 160 year old mandible found in 1980 were analyzed. Later, Denisovan DNA was also found in sediments from younger layers of this cave. The tooth of another representative of this paleo population was excavated in Laos. Scientists from Denmark, China, and France have studied the Tibetan Baishi Ya Cave. At this high altitude site, located at an altitude of 3,280 meters, they found many artifacts and animal remains, indicating that archaic people had visited the cave over many thousands of years. Among the more than 2,500 animal bones and teeth found in the cave were blue sheep, yaks, Tibetan gazelles, and horses. The bones of an ancient hyena, gray wolf, snow leopard, pheasant, and golden eagle were also identified. Anthropogenic traces were found on almost 20% of the bones. During excavations, archaeologists discovered a fragment of a rib more than 5 centimeters long, which fell into two parts. Biomolecular analysis showed that the fossil belonged to a Denisovan. Dating by cultural layer determined the age of the find at 3248,000 years, indicating that the Denisovans visited the Baishia cave for more than 100,000 years the most dangerous manuscript in the world. Marie Curie is a famous experimental scientist, an outstanding chemist, and a radioactivity researcher who received two Nobel Prizes, one in 1903 in physics, the second in 1911 in chemistry. But why are her notebooks considered dangerous? 
The answer does not lie in the knowledge they contain. Marie Curie, together with her husband Pierre Curie, discovered the radioactive elements polonium and radium and developed methods for isolating radioactive isotopes. When scientists discovered radium, they had no idea about its harm to the body. Therefore, no protective measures were taken. Samples of the substance were carried in pockets and stored without precautions. Marie Curie died in 1934 from aplastic anemia, a blood disease caused by radiation. Many of the scientists who worked with her also died of leukemia and other radiation-related diseases. While working in the laboratory, Curie received a huge dose of radiation and became radioactive herself. After her death, she was buried in a lead coffin that blocks radiation. Personal belongings, including notebooks, were transferred to the National Library of France, where they are stored in lead boxes, as they remain radioactive. Today, access to Marie Curie's notebooks is difficult. To view her manuscripts, you must sign a disclaimer form at the Bibliothèque Nationale de France and obtain permission. Viewing of records takes place in a special room, away from other reading rooms of the library. The visitor must wear a protective suit and use a dosimeter. Experts have found that the radiation dose for a person in a protective suit working with Curie notebooks is insignificant. Even with regular contact throughout the year, the maximum radiation dose will be about 10 USV microsievert per hour. For comparison, during a flight at an altitude of 10 kilometers, a person receives 5 MSVH. Thus, a two-hour flight from Berlin to Barcelona will give the same radiation dose as a year of working with Curie notebooks. The Curie notebooks remain the most dangerous known manuscripts due to radioactivity. Reading them without a protective suit is extremely dangerous. Marie Curie's personal belongings will not be touched without protection for about 1,500 years, since the half-life of radium-226 is 1,600 years. Today's journey through the ancient world has come to an end, but you can watch other videos on the channel that will tell you even more about our history. Thanks for your views. Bye, everyone.